The children's grandmother says that this case got so bad she could count her grandchildren's ribs one by one, and she knew she had to speak up. Thank you, Jesus, that I reported it. I saved two lives. Sylvia Garcia says she turned in her own son, Michael Garcia, and daughter-in-law, Jennifer Hanlon, when she noticed her two twin grandchildren so thin they weighed more when they were born three months ago than they do now. They were so tiny. I mean, they were bad. It wasn't until Garcia pleaded, then demanded that the twin boys should be taken to the hospital. And I said, Michael, they look so bad. Michael, let's take them to the doctor. Please, let's just take them. And Jennifer, I'll take them later. I'm not leaving from here until we take these babies now to the hospital. San Antonio police first got a report from Sylvia Garcia a month ago, saying her grandkids were in bad shape. In the arrest affidavit, Hanlon admitted to not feeding them often enough and that she knew starving them would result in something bad happening to them. To quote her statement in the affidavit, she said that she would hope to wake up in the morning and that the kids would pass. But Hanlon says she's a good mom and she'd never starve them intentionally. That was the case. I was, you know, gave them up for adoption or something. But no. Now, Child Protective Services is looking into this case. Most likely, custody of the twins will be granted to Sylvia Garcia, the grandmother, along with Hanlon's two other kids, ages one and three. I just got off the phone with Sylvia Garcia, the grandmother. She says the twins are doing great. They're even gaining weight now. Michael Garcia and Jennifer Hanlon are being held on a seventy thousand dollar bond each.